This is Oculus Touch. These are going to take virtual reality gaming to the next level. Come on, let's clap. Let's do it. Woo! Ah, super hot. Oculus Touch is a pair of track controllers that we've created to take VR to the next level. Th these are feature prototypes for Oculus Touch, a set of prototypes that, were code that we've codenamed Half Moon. We wanted to enable the best and absolute widest range of virtual reality experiences. And to do that, we had a number of goals for the Half Moon project. First, we wanted to deliver hand presence, the sense of feeling as though your virtual hands are actually your real hands. This is critical to nailing the sense of overall presence. Once you have your hands involved, you really need tracking to be absolutely perfect, accurate, and low latency, or you're going to feel like your hands are dead. Precise manipulation of virtual entities in the virtual space is also absolutely critical. For example, you need to be able to pick up a gun from a table and then fire it, throw it, or drop it effortlessly without even having to think about it. This required a lot of design on how to make the controller interactions as natural as possible. Overall, we wanted a design that was low mental load, that you, something you wouldn't have to think about, something that would let you use these controllers effortlessly like you use your real hands in the real world. We also wanted to enable communicative gestures for social interactions. Imagine pointing, waving, or giving a thumbs up. These are the types of experiences that Half Moon enables. And another priority was including proven traditional inputs, uh, like buttons and analog sticks. Uh, we want to enable a lot of different kinds of virtual reality experiences, entirely new VR-only experiences, genres of games that have been around for decades that are being brought into, v into VR, and also hybrid experiences that incorporate the best of traditional input with the best of virtual reality input. Buttons and analog sticks are still around for a reason. They've been proven to be a great way to interact with complex games. There's something everyone knows how to use. There's something that developers have proven is critical for a lot of different types of genre, like simulation or platforming. Those types of inputs are not going anywhere. Finally, Oculus Touch needed to be lightweight and ergonomic. It had to be easy to get in and out of, and it had to be comfortable for extremely long periods of play, whether you're standing and reaching out into the virtual world, or whether you're sitting on your couch with your controllers resting in your lap. See that? Resting on my lap. Uh, so we, we've built the Half Moon prototypes with several key features. Uh, there's two controllers, one for each hand. You have two hands. Uh, they're mirror images of each other like the two hands that you have. They're wireless, so that you can move and interact in the virtual world freely, unencumbered by cables. They have integrated high-precision, low-latency, six-degree-of-freedom six tracking, leveraging the same constellation tra tracking technology that we use in the Rift, along with integrated inertial measurement units. Now, each of these Half Moon controllers has a traditional analog thumbstick, two buttons, and an analog trigger. But they also have something else that we call the hand trigger. You can see the trigger right there under my middle finger. Imagine using this to pick up a virtual gun and then using your index finger to fire it. Touch also includes haptics that developers can use to deliver feedback when you're interacting with objects in the virtual world so that you can actually feel the things that you're touching. Finally, though, Touch can detect a set of finger poses using a matrix of center, sensors mounted throughout the inside of the device. Together, they work to recognize natural hand poses, like pointing, waving, or giving a thumbs up. We've built a new demo for Oculus Touch showing this off that we call Toybox, and we'll be showing it off for the first time to the public at E3. Uh, Toybox is actually our internal prototyping test bed that we've used to design uh, the Half Moon prototypes, and to experiment with new features and interactions. It's really a great sandbox for playing with things. You can light explosives, uh, dual-wheeled laser guns, pull robots limb from limb, uh, punch garden gnomes, play tetherball. Just a lot of really fun interactions that we've been experimenting with on our way to natural virtual reality input. And one of the coolest things about Toybox is that it's a social experience. It's a multiplayer experience. You're actually in a space with another person using the controllers far away. But you feel like you're in the same place. And what's amazing about that is that as the experience gets more natural, 
you start to actually feel like you're in the same place with this person. You start to wave to them or to gesture to things so that they can pick them up. And you do it without even thinking about it because you kind of feel like the person is really there in the room with you, even though they're actually down the hall in one of the other test pods. Uh, we really think that Oculus Touch is going to surprise you, and I'm really excited to show off to Toy Box to a lot of people. I'll be actually running a lot of the demos at E3, so we might get a chance to play together. Um, so that's Oculus Touch. We think that they're going to deliver an entirely new set of virtual reality experiences, and we can't wait to see what developers have in store. The last few years have been incredible for virtual reality. Things have come so far, so fast. If you were to show someone a video of this event today, or heck, even all the technology that's in the virtual reality industry across all these different companies, not just Oculus, you took a video of that and showed it to someone three or four years ago, they would have thought that it looked like a science fiction film. It would have been a perfect cue. But this isn't science fiction. This is reality. And it's happening today. Thank you. I'll see all of you at E3.